Page 31, Evening Song. On page 30, they're introducing you to a thing in music called chords. According to this book, a chord is two or more notes where you hear the, you can hear the harmony. They don't have to be played at the same time, but you can hear both notes in your head. That's what we call harmony when you hear more than one note at a time. For instance, they show you here, they say key C, you're here. I don't have to play them at the same time. I could do that. I can hear the notes in my head at the same time. That still makes it a chord. Now, I want to explain this. So just, well, start now. There's a lot of things about music and music theory that people do not agree on. So if you happen to be talking to somebody else, they're liable to say something different than what you've been taught. Or they're liable to say, no, that's not right once you've said something because they've been taught different. My suggestion to you is let it go. You're not going to convince them of anything different. Just let it go. Just know that people don't agree. For instance, people don't agree on what a chord is. Isn't that wonderful? I believe, and many people do, as it, this book does, it's two or more notes. Anything, if you can hear harmony, that's a chord. And it only takes two notes to do that. And that, to me, is a chord. Other people, for whatever reason, believe it has to be three or more notes to be a chord. Let them go. They can believe anything they want. But I'm sticking with two or more notes. And this book does, too. I'll go along with that. Because a lot of method books will say three or more notes. Now, when you play... More than one note at a time, on a hand, in a hand, with a hand. Something about the hand. I don't know what it is. Let's just say here I have E and a G, one and three. I'm playing both at the same time. I put my fingers down that I want, and I lower the hand down. I don't hold the hand down and try and push the fingers down. That does not work. Lower the hand down. Let the fingers stay where they are and lower the hand down. Try and get them down at the same time. I, that's hard to do. I don't do it very well. You, you do it. That's something you work on forever on that. And then the F and the G. See here, now you got to read more than one note at a time. Well, we were already doing that when you're playing hands together, except now we're still adding more notes. <laughs> they, we've ha covered in the past the key of C, the key of G, and the key of F, because remember the key signatures? And they have them there on page 30. The key of C has no sharps or flats in the key signature. The key of G has one sharp. All the Fs are sharped. And the key of F has one flat. All the Bs are flat. I'm not really sure why they've chosen these particular chords, but they have. It's key of C is here, and the key of G is here. And key of F, just remember there's a B flat there. Here. You're going to finger them all the same way. Those are called block chords. Blocked, where you play them at the same time. The last line, you're doing them one note at a time. That's called broken. So you have two flavors of chords. you got block chords, where they're played at the same time. And you got broken chords, that's anything else. And there's all kinds of patterns for broken chords. Doesn't matter. If they're not at the same time, regardless of what the pattern is, it's a broken chord. Now they're challenging you at the bottom of page 30. They're saying, now you play these broken chords, oh, I told you broken, in the keys of G and F. Well, you're here, for C, you're here. Well, for G, they want you here, that puts the thumb here. Remember, it's, they're starting out with every other note. Well, if you do it here in the G, then time's going to go here. And so you're going to do these, and you do the same thing. Just remember in the key of G, you got an F sharp. And then in the key of F, well, you're up here. That puts the thumb here, so it's every other note. And that would be playing these in the different keys. You are transposing this to the different keys. Remember, keep that in mind. That's good exercise. I, I encourage you to do that bottom bit where you're playing them in the different keys. Now let's talk about evening song. 
We got all these ugly looking chords, whether the chords we already had on that page 30. So you're playing it, the hands one at a time here. And so the right, the left hand starts with three and one here. And the right hand starts with three and one here. And you're, spl you're playing the same notes in each hand, just an octave apart. And then here. fun. So that ugly looking thing turns out to be no big deal because really when you think of it and you really look at it that's all you're doing is just talking, playing the same notes. No, no, no. Okay. Now if you play through this you're going to think there's no melody here. What is this? This is just chunk 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 chunk. Well what it actually is it's a it's an accompaniment. It's a support for a melody because the teacher's part has the melody. So when we play together, I get to play the melody, <laughs> and you play the accompaniment, which is these chunk, chunk, chunk things. They're also telling you a note there in the yellow bubble thingy. The notes, when the stems go up, use the right hand, and when the stems go down, use the left hand. This is because they put all the notes in the same staff and you're thinking do I play all these notes in one hand because it's in the same staff and the answer is no you follow the stems however keep in mind that that does not always work this is where you have the notes only in one staff you test it does it work if I play the notes with the stems going up in the right hand and the stems going down in the left if it does, go for it, but it may not. You, you may have to figure out something else. Let's try it together slowly and make sure that we can do them. No, 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 okay. I'll give us four counts because it's in 4-4 four, four time. One, two, ready, go. Now there is a duet part for this. I get to play the melody and you get to do the chunk, chunk, chunk stuff. I'll give us four counts. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Let's play it together. One, two, ready, go.